Hi there, so here's a very quick intro to Routify. Uh, you might be wondering what's the difference between Routify and Sapper. They're very similar. I'll leave a link in the description, uh, give me a comparison, but basically Routify is uh, more just front end. There's no back end component, whereas Sapper does have a bit of uh, back end and API building built into it. So Routify is just for front end and it gives you a bunch of goodies. Um, it gives you like metadata stuff, some transition stuff. Uh, it's a bit, a bit simpler in some ways and uh, maybe more complex than others. So you're just gonna have to try them both out, see what you like. Okay, anyway, so uh, here to start MPX Svelte Tech Routify in it. So you're gonna do that in the folder that you want to be using. So I'm here in Routify intro, and then I run that. It'll do a bunch of stuff. It'll npm install, and you can uh, run npm run dev and code dot. So here we go, run dev, and here I have it open in my VS code. So here's index, very similar to Sapper in that it is um, a file-based routing. So here are, there's index, this is what they give to you. You'll see they have this meta tags. This is something unique to Routify. It'll add these meta tags. Um, I won't get into that, but you can do that there. And here also you can see I have added a route, which is ID. So this is simpler in Routify. To get the parameters from the route, all you have to do is export let whatever the name is. So ID, ID. Um, you can't do like a regex thing in the route directly like you can in Sapper, but if you wanted, you could do some sort of check um, to make sure the ID is like a number or something and then redirect if not, something like that. So here, um, let me go to the route. So this is the intro, but if I just do a number like one, now I'm here and I can go higher and I can go lower. Let's see what happens if I go negative. Yeah. So that's just kind of simple. You go, yeah, oh, oh. And then um, here we have a layout.svelte. So if you have a layout, it's got to have a slot. This is similar to Sapper where um, whatever you put here is going to be on the outside of everything uh, within it or descending from it. So for example, if I add a main tag, that's not completing for me. If I add a main tag and I give that style of I'm just going to give background color red okay so this is similar to um, sapper the cool thing about routify is that you can also have a reset which i'll show you in a second okay so now no matter where i go it's just going to have this red background like that because it's um yeah, it's, it's uh, like a wrapper around anything um, within this folder or descending from it. So let's get to the Pokemon here. So if I go to Pokemon, so basically it's going to be a name of a Pokemon. So Ditto, here I have it already, Picture. So I have Ditto, that can be anything, that can be any Pokemon, and then Picture or Stats. So if I go here, we have Ditto, and then it loads uh, this image. So um, this is the code for that. Answerel. So I've got Pokemon passed in, and then it uses this URL to fetch the URL, then returns the JSON, and I have the image from front default. So you can look into the Pokemon API a bit more if you want to play around with that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show is, let's say I don't want this red background in the Pokemon. So maybe I want this red background on all of these inside here, but once we get into Pokemon, I don't want that. So a cool thing you can do, which is unique to Ratify is have this reset and it it works pretty much the same as a layout but it's going to block all of the layouts um, above it so this isn't a folder down here so this layout is applying to this folder but if you have a reset then it's going to basically block out the block out the uh, layouts from above okay so now if I go to ditto picture and Let's see. Oh, okay, so I guess I need to, one sec. Okay, so I stopped the video because this basically uh, made it so that this Pokemon wasn't getting picked up anymore. So it seems like the reset kind of blocks everything outside of it. Um, <clears throat> so what I did as the solution, um, there is this here params store that you can get from anywhere and it'll give you the parameters. So here I can do export let Pokemon equals params.pokemon. So I, I mean, I could just get rid of this export let Pokemon. Um, this is just doing it as like, if 
Pokemon isn't passed, then use this global params Pokemon. But really, I could just say like let Pokemon equal params Pokemon. That would work. So that fixes the issue for me. Um, so there's this little helper here uh, that you can use to get around that. So reset, you'll see basically it's not red anymore because this reset um, has reset the the layout. But if I go back to here, the layout there is still uh, active. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. That's it for this. Let me know if you want more Routify videos. And please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day.